I'm right. I'm so happy to see each one of you uh, for the morning devotion. Today, I'd like to talk about let us bring all, uh, let us bring God back to America from through Mother's Anthology Volume Two, and also maybe uh, the day after tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I'm going to give through Mother's uh, main uh, direction. You know, when we had a very beautiful time with the mother right after victory celebration in Korea, some really important keywords I'm going to deliver very soon. Uh, if I prepare well, then I can yeah, deliver tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, okay? All right, so uh, let's uh, study a mother's work again here. Let's invite our beautiful heavenly heaven. Let us bring God back to America. Today, the human family is divided and in the throes of war on Americans, eco wars, religious wars, territorial wars, political wars, racial wars, and community shootings, making our backyards and hometowns into battlegrounds. <laughs> when we witness these heinous crimes against the human family, we are heartbroken and can empathize with the devastating pain of God's heart. Anyone can see that the world we live in today is not an ideal world where we all live in peace and harmony with our global brothers and sisters as one family under God. I believe that the root cause of these problems lies in the loss of true family values. The United States was blessed by our heavenly parent with the ideal vision and mission of establishing not only one nation under God, but also one family under God. Today, this ideal is still alive, even though the erosion of family values is threatening the very foundation of this family. Divorce rates exceeding 50% are directly undermining the sanctity of marriage and the family. That are uh, happening all around the world, such as uh, killing one's own parents, territorial wars and religious wars and uh, you know, racial wars, problems of divorce and of youth going astray, free sex and environmental problems. Actually, the root cause of these problems lies in the loss of true family values and aware and concerned about this sad reality. Your parents answer the heaven's call to come and devote their lives for restoring America's moral <clears throat> and spiritual roots in order to revive this great nation. As they tour, as they uh, toured the U.S., uh, they uh, boldly proclaimed that God has sent us in, in the role of the uh, doctor in the role of the uh, firefighter. That's why we have come to America. The conclusion of the true parents' word is that all problems can be resolved if we just rest our true family values. In the end, the root cause of these problems lies in the family. Since the fall of Adam and Eve started in the family, all problems in the last days also lies in the family. I always emphasize through the morning devotion that family is the front line. So since losing the family is losing the front line defense, you end up losing everything. Therefore, we need to resemble true parents and fulfill our roles as a doctors and the firefighters in the uh, in this uh, diseased and corrupt society. Just now, you know, through mother talking about the about the divorce rate, right? Actually, in Korea now it's more more worse than America and any other countries. I feel that I'm so shameful. Korea is as a chosen nation. You know, it's become more serious situation now in Korea, really. I, I really, I worry even Japan and Korea and an America, three major nation in there, can influence the entire world. That's why, how can we promote the family value? We need to go back, okay? Set putting on family values. This is the really key issues, right? My brothers and sisters. 
leaving divine principle we are talking about again the last days let's just study uh, edp content first time when with the advent of the messiah as the turning point the evil world under satanic sovereignty is replaced by the ideal world under god's sovereignty hell on earth will be transformed into the kingdom of heaven on earth yes since the last days of the kingdom of heaven on earth it is a time of the great turning point then who will become the central figures of this great turning point the central figures of that great turning point is none other than our true parents who came as the messiah therefore if we do not welcome and become one with the true parents we will never be able to welcome the great turning point next comes of the last days that's now you need to be talking about the last day means that the evil world has ended and god's new world of the ideal of creation has begun the last day is when the satanic sovereignty is liquidated and we enter the ideal world of creation on the god's sovereignty the last days is the time when hell owners is transformed into the kingdom of heaven owners the last day is not a time of fear but the time of joy when the ideal of creation is realized so based on this content we need to think about more detail <clears throat> Did I overcome the last days on individual level? Or you know more <coughs> last day? The last day means completely overcome, okay? Satan's sovereignty and enter God's direct dominion, right? So that means, I'm asking you, did I overcome, did you overcome the last days on an individual level? In order to overcome the last day on individual level, you need to create the unity between mind and body. There, there is no unity between mind and body. You are still struggling. That means you are not yet overcame the last days on on individual level. Did I overcome the last days on a family level? Did you have a really experience of four realms of art and three great kingships? Okay. How about you? If we did not complete yet for great realms of our three great things, if that means still my family did not overcome the last days on a on a family level. Did I overcome the last days on a tribal level? Did you complete the tribal messiah mission and a national level? That means we already, you know, restored the one nation, one set, family level, tribal level, national level, worldwide level. And cosmic level, still we need to, you know, need to adjust. The meaning of the last day, heavenly honey, please read. Content: One who serves able does not become tired. Why? I'm going to explain about that. Okay, listen carefully. A person with good faith and a person who inherits heavenly fortune. If you always live a life of serving, your faith will deepen. The common point about people with good faith is that they absolutely have an able of faith to serve. If we live a life centered on our original nature, we unknowingly try to form a hatistic bond with a good able figure. And the more we like our able, the cleaner our hearts become. Since we have such a mindset, the words of the principle flow into our hearts. On the contrary, people without an able figure do not know where to center their lives. On point of the people we do good faith, okay? And then what the common points of the people we do good faith? They have good human relationships including with God and true parents all the time. They absolutely have an able of faith to serve. They un unknowingly try to form a heartistic bond with a good able figure. 
A automatically rush to uh, A go. When I relate to the uh, my uh, spiritual father, Reverend Yohan Li, yeah, I just miss him. I just long for him. Without seeing every day, I feel my heart is really unstable. You know, this is a very important point. You know, common point of the people with good faith, have an able of faith to serve. Hmm? Always, always try to try to someone who is better than me. Do you have someone really longing for? Okay. So sometimes I difficult to find my able figure. Then, you, do you have the able figure or not? How can you know that? You ask your heart, ask your conscience. Do I have long for somebody or not? Okay. Where there is able, there is a longing heart. You know, I don't have any able figure. That means you don't have any longing heart. Sometimes even though, you know, you are already, uh, since you joined church already, you become older and then now you to find somebody. But I'm asking you, do you have a longing heart for somebody or not? Okay? You don't, you cannot find your able figure then, do you really long for your spiritual children or somebody who are near, near to uh, about your, your area? Can you find somebody? This is an important point because the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of heaven is the, the heart, uh, the, the, the word of the heart. An important point, my brothers and sisters. The more they like their able, the cleaner their heart become and atonement happens. That's why when you serve your able with your longing heart and you unite with your able, try to really get along with your able very well, then slowly and gradually you can remove your sins. This is really incredible. Since they have a mindset of the serving, the words of the principle flow into their heart. You know, oh, I love God's word, I love God's word. <laughs> but when you respect your able, whatever he's saying, I love to hear, <laughs> right? I love to hear. You know, when you love to the Father so much, whatever he's saying, everything you agree with that, everything you like him, you know? That's why, that's why you, you need to have that kind of relationship. Okay, I can accept his word or not. That is the second matter. When you have the real, when you build good relationship, you are able, then everything you can digest, everything you can understand. That's why this kind of the mindset and heart and longing heart is very important, my brothers and sisters. So just now I mentioned that since they have that kind of the mindset of serving, the word of the principle flow into their heart. And then here, another point, the common point of the people without or able and their, you know, uh, countermeasures. They do not know where to, where to center their lives on a daily basis. It's really dangerous. You don't have any, any person to, uh, to relate to you, okay? Don't have any longing heart. You don't have an able figure. That kind of a guy is really dangerous. Your life is very, very dangerous, very dry. So common point of the people without unable and their uh, countermeasures, since their minds easily drift away, even if, even if they hear the word, they feel you know, distant from it. Then where must they center? They center their lives on. They must have a heart of always respecting and yearning for able. They must have a heart of the artistically long for able. Let's just say, I cannot find my able. Then you need to create your object partner. You can love. You can have a longing heart for somebody. You know, I really appreciate our Taka. Finally, he came back last night from Korea, right? I met again our Filipino assistant and Yen. I'm asking them, do I have that kind of knowing how to see him, miss him? 
if we can, cannot create that kind of longing relationship among brothers and sisters in your daily life, then we are spiritually dead, my brothers and sisters. That's like a coming across water because you go out searching for the water in the de desert because you are thirsty. Live a life always being hardistically thirsty. God's heavenly fortune guides one who is always sincere and honest and offers a chungsam. God will have direct dominion over us if we just have the right mindset. Next content. Life of the Trinity and the vertical relationship. Jesus. In my life of faith, the mind will not be established vertically. So there is no the no life of the Trinity. My life is will drift horizontally. If a minimum of the uh, three people give and receive very well, their life of faith will take root. That's why you need to have close relationship. Okay? You know, at least a few people always give and take. Okay? Artistically. That person long for me, I long for that person. You need to create at least a minimum three or four people have that kind of artistic relationship. Then your life of faith will take root. Very important. That's why even Bible mentioned that for where two or three come together in my name, they are uh, they are they are am I with them. Wow. When there is a Trinity, Trinity relationship, Jesus is there, God is there, right? Spiritual world is there. Means two or three people gather together need to have not just only external and conditional relationship, need to have artistic and inseparable relationship. God's kingdom of heaven begins from two or three people gather together, centering on longing heart. Whether it's your work, uh, your work life or church life, you should create a trinity in your given place and give and receive very well. For example, you go to your working place and there are not blessed family, not church members, but need to have a hardest relationship with your colleagues or you, your neighbor. Uh, even though they do not believe in God, do not believe in true parents, you need to build that kind of the trinity relationship, hardistic relationship. Then they serving you, they love you, you know. Then they can feel that you are my, you know, one part of the, my family. They need to feel like that. Just as God exists as the Trinity, we must live a life of the Trinity resembling God in the physical world as well. In the family, the Trinity is the parents, couple, and children. If they center, uh, if they center, the, center this on God, it becomes the foundation. Foundation. That's why in your family, fundamental, your Trinity is who, who are they? Your parents your spouse and your children, right? If you build that kind of trinity relation in your family, you can build that kind of trinity relationship in your working place, okay? In your current uh, situation. Life of trinity and the vertical relationship. The heart that serves the parents is a vertical. The couple that serves the parents has no dangerous because God protects such a filial couple. Any children really love their parents very well, serving their parents very well. Always have that kind of the really unique relationship with the parents. God surely protect the child because you are filial child. Guarantee, I am telling you. Those who have that kind of relationship with the parents, I am telling you, guarantee, there is no more danger or family that makes these children into filial children always thrive. God and true parents are the subject uh, patterns of the mind conscience. The Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. That kind of relationship. If I do not set a vertical relationship between the subject pattern and object pattern, 
my conscience will not be set uh, straight. And not just only external relationship, need to have a heartistic relationship. Next content. One who serves able does not become tired. How can I become tired when there is someone I long for? <laughs> Who becomes tired? People who have no one to long for become tired. You long for your grandchildren, you long for your spouse, you long for your parents, you long for your brothers and sisters. You can feel only the kingdom of heaven. Why you are tired? Why you are tired? Tired, tired. You, you, if you are tired, that means you don't have any person you long for, right? Become lonely. Those who are lonely, that means he doesn't have any longing heart for somebody. That means he doesn't have love, right? If my relationship with Abel is bad and my couple relationship is bad, I lose the will to attend church. No, no hope. Those who don't have a longing heart, no hope become very lonely, become selfish, right? Become more stubborn. If relationship is, if relationships are bad, I sing and become so easily tired. But someone recognizes me, someone praises me, someone long for me, someone love me. Wow, that's already kingdom of heaven. Why your couple are so tired? Because you don't have that kind of heartistic and longing relationship. To not become tired in my in my life of faith, I must love my church more than my own family. Investing in it with attachment. It means you need to multiply, okay? If I offer a sincere devotion for others and live for the sake of others, I will multiply love and never get tired. The more you multiply your love, you never get tired. You, if you have a spiritual children, always, uh, you know, give and take very well, and the really inseparable relationship really can feel like a kingdom of heaven. Why you are tired? You don't have object partner. That's why you are tired. You don't have uh, you you don't have a subject partner as you are able. That's why you are so tired. Your relationship not so good. That's why you are so tired. On the contrary, people without multiplication of love will surely become tired. Uh, people who come trying to use the church will not come for long and live in the middle. Sure, you don't have anyone to long for. On the way, surely you leave church. I must try to serve the church and, and serve the people who come to church. I will surely experience God guiding me. Next content. How does God take responsibility over? Protection is simple. It is to do what you are told to do well, and not to uh, not not do what you are, are told not to do. If I do not do uh, what God tells me, do not do. God will guide me and take responsibility. Is in the law of the universe. That's why Adam and God giving the kind of commandment to Adam and Eve. Do not eat the fruit, but other fruit you can eat. If Adam and Eve absolutely follow God's commandment, okay, do not do it and do it. If they know how to distinguish, and they, if they know how to follow heavenly parents' order, they don't have any problems. The reason we cannot receive God's guidance is because we do not obey what God uh, tells us to do or not to do, which God gave us through uh, revelations but act centered on ourselves. So if I strengthen out my mindset to live according to the God's word, heaven will seriously take responsibility over me. The problem is that fallen man's mindset is all wrong. So heaven cannot help us even if he wants to. Therefore, if I always think only about God's word and try to live according to the God's will, 
God will guide me, but he does not intervene horizontal and humanistic people. We need to understand very clearly today. We learn very important things, my brothers and sisters, right? So if you have a longing heart with somebody, already God's kingdom of heaven begins from there. That's what we need to create that kind of God's kingdom of heaven, centering a longing heart. Now, where, where to begin? You need to begin uh, from the nearest person, <clears throat> okay? With your nearest person, you need to think in your home, with your wife, with your husband, with your parents, with your children, how about in your working place? Who is it sit down next to, next to, next to about your table? You know, you need to have that kind of really internal and heartless relationship. God's kingdom of heaven, kingdom of heaven begins from there. That's why you need to have the, the good relationship, with a good relationship centering on two or three people. That is the life of the Trinity. Very important guidance this morning, right, my brothers and sisters? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Yong, for again sharing us such incredible guidance this morning and really enlightening us through True Parents' words. And with that, brothers and sisters, we'd like to receive our living testimony. And today we'll be hearing from Miss Sunmi Myongo, who is a second year in GPA. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so from even before we got to Korea and just kind of like a little bit into our trip here, I had been feeling like really like spiritually full, or spiritually constipated. Um, yeah, just feeling so full of like thoughts and emotions and feelings and just like every day like going up and down with how I was feeling and how I was doing. And yeah, we had been preparing like for a long time actually um, an offering for to mother an original song and then a flag dance to go with that song and so we were like preparing for like actually having this meeting with her and we were yeah told like you really need to be able to prepare yourself to meet your mother like anything that's holding you back or anything that you aren't feeling clear and like you need to offer that up like pray go talk to someone but really like purify yourself to meet with your mother and so i yeah like kind of like like still like maybe like a weekend um is when like this happened and I was able to talk to my able figure and offer, offer things up and everything was able to I just like I felt like lifted off of my chest and it all felt really clear and like I said we we're doing an original song an original dance and so that night we were practicing the song but in choir like as, as a choir and um, part of us they said that they were gonna try out for the fly dance because we were able to do everyone and so they were gonna yeah, select people to perform the dance. And so I really connect to, yeah, I really connect to music and I really connect to singing. And so I connected a lot more with actually being able to sing the song, but I felt like I also loved like anything creative. And so I wanted to try out for the dance and I felt in my heart like, oh, maybe I should stay and sing, but I don't want to just like miss this opportunity. And so I, kind of declared to God, I'm like, okay, I want to try out for the dance. I want to commit, and I don't want to just half commit to singing or half commit to dancing, but I'm going to fully commit to this. Um, and if I don't make it, then like, I, I, I'll, I'll see it as like you working on Because I, I didn't feel like I was bad at the dance because we had been practicing it. But yeah, I wanted to like really commit to it. And so I, I did. We tried out, I didn't make it, but I was like, okay, that's okay. I I'll, I really connected to singing a lot more anyways. And we went back to the choir. I went back to the choir and I just felt so much more at peace. Um, and while we were on a break um, and kind of coming off of this break, kind of going into practice again, there was no staff there to lead it. And it ended up being me who was like leading the group and conducting us as we were singing. And yeah being in that position and like conducting the whole group, it was like scary because I've never really done that before, but I love music. It's something that I'm really passionate about and I really connect to. Um, and so like being in that position was like different, but like kind of like really amazing too. And actually after that, I was given the opportunity to conduct this song, to conduct the group in front of True Mother um, during our meeting with her. And it was kind of like really on the spot. I was like, oh no, like should I do it? Of course it was like up to me. Um, 
but I like went and I prayed about it and I thought about it and I asked my Ava figure again like about um, what she was thinking about it too and kind of the conclusion uh, that came up to me was that like God was giving me this opportunity that it wasn't like staff giving it to me but it really was like given to me by God like just that morning I had been like freed from like this heaviness this heavy cloud that was weighing over me and like it just felt like God wanted me to like make this offering for Chimela it just felt like pieces fell into place you know like from this morning I was feeling so much better than I had been feeling in like weeks and like even like trying out for the dance and not making it um it just felt like everything just kind of like lined up so that I could be given this opportunity and I felt like how could I say no if it was like really just like offered like just everything like worked out and I felt like I was through this able to offer up my like my passion and my gifts because I really love music I play multiple instruments and I really connect to it and I was able to offer up like my growth and from like, these past three years through conducting because it's something that I'd never done in front of like a big group before or in fact in front of like true brother and so I just felt like wow like I actually really want to do this and even in the time where I was still considering it, I just felt like I wanted to be that person up there. I wanted to make this offering for your mother. I wanted to make this big offering. And yeah, like I felt like from this, like from like being able to, like from this like past few weeks and actually being able to meet your mother, I felt like, yeah, I just felt so like ready to receive her and ready to give like the purest heart that I could. Um, yeah, and I was able to yeah conduct in front of the group um, for your mother. Um, even if like I had to conduct from behind her, she wasn't able to see me. Like I still felt like I could offer something really good to her. Um, and it's even more amazing because before GPA, I really didn't have like a relationship with your parents or even like a really strong relationship with the church. And so I feel like all of it kind of like everything just like helped so that I could receive true mother really well and like when I could stand in front of her like I just felt so much gratitude and just felt so much love and just felt so much emotion like that she was really the reason that I was here that she was the reason that all, all my my peers and my friends were here that she was the reason that I felt so much love in this program and that she was the reason that my parents were able to love me the way that they do and the reason why we're all like striving for this higher standard of love and yeah I just felt really grateful to be able to offer like myself in this way like something that I'm really passionate about something I really care about music and yeah I'm just also so grateful for yeah um yeah just all the stuff that made it possible and for Dr. Young too for yeah really working to yeah, like really fighting so hard for us to have this meeting with her and for us to be able to offer something so beautiful and something so original too. Um, but yeah, that's my testimony for my time here in Korea. And yeah, just thank you so much. Come, come, go. Wow, Sunny Buyongo, now in Korea, now already you try to speak in Korea. The invite to the mother, it was not simple. I, I cannot tell you the behind stories. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, maybe someday I want to get the uh, content uh, while we are having a meeting with the mother, uh, what mother talked to the GPA. I think total amount, uh, you know, the 10 minutes or 15 minutes, something like that. I do. Also, you need to see their performance. I think uh, I try to get, uh, you know, that video and uh, someday I'd like to show to you. Wow, that is very beautiful. Now our GPA members now traveling uh, in korea here and there beating holy ground wow really they had incredible experience with the true mother wow i was uh, i was uh, happy for them to see true mother thank you once again for your support and jungsung for our gpa members now heavenly heart is very much a big smiling because very happy to see uh, each one of the gpa members thank you very much time right uh, i'm so happy to see each one of you uh, for the morning devotion today i'd like to talk about let us bring all uh, let us bring god back to america from through mother's anthology volume 2 
And also, maybe uh, the day after tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I'm going to give Toro Mother's uh, main and direction. You know, when we had a very beautiful time with the mother right after victory celebration in Korea, some really important keywords I'm going to deliver very soon. Uh, if I prepare well, then I can uh, deliver tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, okay? All right, so uh, let's uh, study a mother's word again here. Let's invite our beautiful Heavenly Honey. Let us bring God back to America. Today, the human family is divided and in the throes of war on Americans, eco wars, religious wars, territorial wars, political wars, racial wars, and community shootings, making our backyards and hometowns into battlegrounds. <laughs> when we witness these heinous crimes against the human family, we are heartbroken and can empathize with the devastating pain of God's heart. Anyone can see that the world we live in today is not an ideal world where we all live in peace and harmony with our global brothers and sisters as one family under God. I believe that the root cause of these problems lies in the loss of true family values. The United States was blessed by our heavenly parent with the ideal vision and mission of establishing not only one nation under God, but also one family under God. Today, this ideal is still alive, even though the erosion of family values is threatening the very foundation of this family. Divorce rates exceeding 50% are directly undermining the sanctity of marriage and the family. So that are uh, happening all around the world, such as uh, killing one's own parents, territorial wars and religious wars and uh, you know, racial wars, problems of divorce and of youth going astray, free sex and environmental problems. Actually, the root cause of these problems lies in the loss of true family values and aware and concerned about this sad reality. Pro parents answer the heaven's call to come and devote their lives for restoring America's moral <clears throat> and spiritual roots in order to revive this great nation. As they tour, as they uh, toured the U.S., uh, they uh, already proclaimed that God has sent us in, in the role of the uh, doctor in the role of the uh, firefighter. That's why we have come to America. The conclusion of the true parents' word is that all problems can be resolved if we just rest our true family values. In the end, the root cause of these problems lies in the family. Since the fall of Adam and Eve started in the family, all problems in the last days also lies in the family. I always emphasize through the morning devotion that family is the front line. So since losing the family is losing the front line defense, you end up losing everything. Therefore, we need to resemble true parents and fulfill our roles as doctors and firefighters in, the, uh, in this diseased and corrupt society. Just now, you know, through mother talking about the about the divorce rate, right? Actually, in Korea now is more more worse than America and any other countries. I feel that I'm so shameful. Korea is as a chosen nation. You know, it's become more serious situation now in Korea. Really, I I really I worry even Japan and Korea and an America three major nation. In there can influence the entire world. That's why, how can we promote a family value? We need to go back, okay? Centering on family values. This is the really key issues, right? My brothers and sisters. Living divine principle, we are talking about again the last days. Let's study uh, EDP content first. Time when, with the advent of the Messiah as the turning point, the evil world under 
satanic sovereignty is replaced by the ideal world under God's sovereignty. Hell on earth will be transformed into the kingdom of heaven on earth. Yes. Since the last days of the kingdom of heaven on earth, it is a time of the great turning point. Then who will become the central figures of this great turning point? The central figures of that great turning point is none other than our true parents who came as the Messiah. Therefore, if we do not welcome and become one with the true parents, we will never be able to welcome the great turning point.